3, we come across a story about the joy of festivals. In this story, we come across so many different festivals that we celebrate in our nation, India. So let's look at some of the words that we have to learn in this story. The first one is decorate. Make something look more attractive by adding extra items to it. We all love to decorate our homes, don't we, for special occasions. Porch, a veranda. Kids love to play on the porch. Cloth is a woven fabric. Worship is to show respect to a deity, a god or a goddess. Now, let's learn some new words. Did you know that if we add a letter in front of a word or at the end of a word, it becomes a new word completely? Let's try it. We have it in our exercise that's given in page 25. Here, the first word is low, L-O-W. So when we add the letter F to it, we get the new word flow, which talks about the flow of water. The second one is row, like row, row, row your boat. Now, let's try adding the letter G. When we add G to it, we get a new word called grow. Plants grow. Let's look at the third one. We have the word plan. We can add the letter T. Let's try adding the letter T at the end of the word. When we add it, we get a new word called plant. Let's look at the fourth one. Again, we have low here. Let's try adding the letter B in front of it. It becomes a new word blow, like we blow air. The fifth one, we have the word row. Let's try adding C in front of it and we get crow, like the bird crow. And the last one is can. How about we try adding the letter E at the end of it and we get the word cane, like a walking stick. I hope that was fun. Now, let's try remembering the festivals that we had come across in the story. These festivals are celebrated in different months of the year. So we have a match the following that's given in our book, Learning Ladders. Let's see if you can match it correctly. The first one is Easter. Which month does Easter fall in? It comes in the month of March. Very good. How about Durga Puja? We celebrate it in the month of October. Pongal. Pongal is celebrated in the month of January. How about Gudi Padva? It's celebrated in the month of April. Very good. Now it's time to learn some grammar. Today we're going to learn about plural nouns. In the previous unit, we had learned about singular noun. When we talk about one person, animal, place or thing, then it's a singular noun. But when we talk about more than one person, animal, place or thing, then it becomes a plural noun. Let's try thinking about some examples, okay? Um, how about when I look at a cat, I say, I saw a cat. But when I see more than one cat, I say, I saw many cats or two cats, right? So we can make the plural of that word by adding the letter S at the end of the word and we get the plural form. Now, let's look at the activity that's given in our book. Let's turn to page number 26. The first word that's given here is egg. We'll try adding S at the end of it. When we write E-G-G-S, we get the word eggs. It becomes the plural form. The second one is mango. But for mango, we need to add ES at the end of it because mangoes, the word ends with a consonant plus a vowel. Do you all remember what a vowel is? A, E, I, O, U. So these five letters are called vowels, right? And all the other letters are called consonants. So when any word ends with a consonant plus a vowel, remember to add ES at the end of it. So if you want to get the plural form of mango, 
we need to add ES and it becomes mangoes. Let's try the next one. Flour. We can add the letter S and it becomes flowers. The fourth one. Tomatoes. Here again, this word ends with a consonant plus a vowel. So we need to add ES to it. So we need to write it as T-O-M-A-T-O-E-S and it becomes tomatoes. The last one is church. Church here ends with a CH. So the words which end with CH, SH or a double S and Z, we need to add ES at the end of it. So here for churches, we write C-H-U-R-C-H-E-S. Very good. So we need to remember a few rules that are applicable for plural nouns and then we'll be able to figure out their plural forms. There's another activity that's given in the next page. Let's try doing that. Fill in the blanks with the correct form of nouns, singular or plural, from those given in the brackets. Let's try the first one. There are dash in the storeroom. Here, they're talking about more than one mouse. So we need to write it as mice. There's another rule for the plural form. That is, when there is any vowel in between a word, sometimes it is replaced with another vowel, like mouse and mice. Here, they remove the letters O and U, and it's replaced with I. The next one, and dash protects us from rain. We're talking about one umbrella. So let's write the word umbrella there. And the third one, the dash is attached to the laptop. Here we are talking about a single speaker. So we need to write speaker. The last one, the dash are playing hopscotch. We're talking about more than one girl. So the girls are playing hopscotch. Very good. Now let's talk about festivals. All of us love festivals and I think all the festivals are sp so special to us. But today I'm going to talk about one festival that I like and then you also will write about your favorite festival in your book. The favorite festival that I like is Christmas and it is celebrated in the month of December. It is the birth of Jesus that we celebrate on Christmas. We hang up stars, we put up the Christmas tree, we also bake cakes and we share gifts with our friends around. We also go caroling house to house. Christmas is a very special festival for me and my family. Now it is your turn. You go and write down your favorite festival in your book. The next that we come across in our book is a poem. It talks about no crackers please. Festivals are a wonderful time when we celebrate and enjoy, but it's not good for us to burst crackers because it creates a lot of noise which is disturbing for us and also for the animals. We also have burns from these crackers which sting us, so it's not safe for us to burst them. And just like how uh, we have lockdowns now because of the coronavirus, we are advised to stay in our homes, right? So it's always good for us to stay home and stay healthy. Until this lockdown is lifted up, little children, it's better to obey our parents and follow the rules and stay in our homes. Now, let's look at some of the word meanings that we come across in this poem. Celebration is the first one. Celebration is a social gathering for celebrating something. Greet, to show a sign of welcome. It's good to greet people who come home. Sting, wound or pierce with the sting of a bee, an ant or a scorpion. None of us want to get a sting. The fourth one is firecrackers, loud and explosive fireworks. That's why it's better not to burst firecrackers. Now, we're going to do something different. We have column A and we have column B. And there are some missing letters in the column B. So we have a hint in column A. Looking at this word, let's figure out what is the word that's given on column B. So the first one is joy. 
and the word that is given here starts with C. What could it be? Celebration, that's right. So we all enjoy and we're filled with joy during celebration time. The next one is air. Uh, what word could it be on column B? It's breathe, that's right. We all breathe air. The third one is noise. What makes noise? And it starts with C. It's crackers, that's right. So we need to write C-R-A-C-K-E-R-S. That's right. And the fourth one is B. B stings us, yeah. So that's the word. The fifth one is fire. What does fire do? It burns, yeah. So the word here is burn. And the last one is ear. What do we do with our ear? We hear. So the word here is H-E-A-R. Now, we're going to learn a little bit of plural forms. So the next activity that is given in the next page is about the singular and plural form. There are a few sentences that are given. We have to look at them and see if it follows the rules of the plural form and the singular form. If it is not correct, put a cross mark. If it is right, let's put a tick. Let's try the first one. There are two dogs in the kennel. Oh, here they're talking about two dogs, but the S is missing at the end of dog. So let's put a cross mark there. The next one, I am a good boy. That's correct. We're talking about one boy, so we don't require S at the end of boy. The third one, they have two bicycles. Here, they're talking about two bicycles. So we need to write S at the end of bicycle. So we can put a cross mark here. The fourth one, I'm jumping on one leg. We're talking about one leg. We don't require S at the end of the leg, word leg. So just put a cross mark. And the fifth one, they are sharing an apple. What do you think? Is that sentence correct? No. It's a singular form, so we don't require S at the end of the word apple. So put a cross mark there. The last one, I have four candies. That's right, you're talking about more than one candy. So here, we can put a tick mark. I hope all of us learned so many things today. Thank you.